there's likely a lot of dead bodies in there. Did you just make a noise in there? Can you make that noise again? Can you tap on something? That is pretty creepy that it's just spinning. Are the other ones? Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Today, we are investigating one of the most notorious and haunted places in the Philippines, the Malinta Tunnel. Before we get into investigating Malinta Tunnel, I just wanted to let you know that this video was made in collaboration with one of my favorite YouTube channels, The Paranormal Scholar. I will be linking this channel below and highly recommend you check out their content after this video, particularly if you want to learn more about Corregidor Island, where Malinta Tunnel exists. The Paranormal Scholar will have a full video detailing the dark history and hauntings of the island on their channel in the coming days. Now, back to the video. Alright guys, so I wanted to just fill you in on this Melinda tunnel before I go in. We went to what we believe was the front entry, which our the lady at the hotel told us to go to, to enter, and we got told it's locked, go around. So we hiked up a big hill for maybe a good half hour, like really steep hill. We get to the other entrance, there's no one here, but the door is just ajar and open. So we don't actually know if we're allowed to go in with no one, but there's no one here and we come all this way. So we're just going to go in for a peek. So we have no idea where the light switch is and this is how dark it is. You can see how long the tunnel is down the other end. So as to say, we walk down there. I'm gonna speak really softly because it's super echoey in here. Okay guys, we're just gonna walk down the middle of this tunnel. And this is supposed to be one of the most haunted places on Corregidor Island in the Philippines. It's a massive tunnel. It has been used as storage um, for military, you know, all their equipment and stuff. It has been used as a 1,000 bed hospital, bomb shelter. So there was a lot of bombs dropped on this island during World War II and this was one of the places where people seek refuge. There's also been a lot of death here. So besides it being used as a military hospital, this island was taken from the United States by the Japanese and then a few years later, the US actually claimed it back and at that time there was a lot of Japanese soldiers hiding out in here and it's said that instead of surrendering and admitting defeat Japanese soldiers had the philosophy back then it was better to die than it was to surrender so apparently there was actually a mass suicide I believe it was about 3,000 Japanese soldiers in here and what they did was literally detonate all their explosives and I don't think they've ever excavated all of the tunnel to remove the bodies or anything like that so that's a little bit of the rundown of the history on this tunnel so it makes sense that it is a haunted place now basically the tunnel is one long stem through the middle of a mountain but then there's other stems that are smaller coming off of each side of it. I think that we've actually found one so I'm gonna go have a look in in that. Jared's just told me to zoom in on this lamp because it's actually moving, it is swaying. There's no air movement in here at all, either. That is creepy. 
Is there someone in here with us? Can you make that lamp move more? Can you make a noise? That is pretty creepy that it's just spinning. Are there other ones? Nope. I'm just zooming out and we're actually behind a rope here. This we're completely alone in here. I can't feel any wind or anything that would be making that move. I'm also not going to go in there. They have a light and sound show that goes off in here. So I guess they, you know, have sound effects and lights all rigged up in there for shows like that. I say we keep going further down the tunnel and maybe we come back and see if that's still swinging when we get back, okay? So here's another one that we kind of missed when we first walked past. It's the hospital. Yeah, it's got um, figures of people representing kind of what it would have been like in here. It actually looks like there's a little church down the end. There's all these cute little bats on the roof. Oh, Jared! Did you just make a noise in there? Can you make that noise again? I wonder what that was. So there's a sign that says, Welcome Headquarters of General George Moore. I don't know if these are like corroded or broken down or whatever. Sorry. So I actually read how this place was made was kind of a makeshift of all sorts of techniques and like leftover explosives and all this sort of stuff that they had. safe everything is because you got to remember when the Japanese you know committed suicide they detonated all their leftover explosives so I think the tunnel system down here probably was a lot more vast than it is today it looks like this is uh, the hospital here yeah. So this looks pretty graphic. This um, island, Corregidor, was an important place during World War II. There was a lot of battles fought here. As I mentioned earlier, it was occupied 
by the United States and Japan and then the United States again and there was a lot of US soldiers, Japanese soldiers as well as Filipino soldiers that died here and I mean this was a 1,000 bed hospital, that's a lot of beds. I don't want to get locked in here. Did you hear that? Yeah, that's a bet. Okay, we are scared that we're going to get locked in here. So, let's just keep an eye on that door. I'm pretty sure that that was a cat. This, there's a noise coming from down here very likely could be a bat. Is there someone down there? Can you make a noise? This one's actually blocked off and there's a few like this. These look like Japanese soldiers, right? See, there's nothing down the end of this one. So maybe that was destroyed when the um, explosives were set off, maybe. Did you hear that? It's just the echo of her shoes. I'm guessing that might be where the Japanese soldiers are entombed. There's likely a lot of dead bodies in there. Jesus. All of these are like completely destroyed. In, right? Part of a machine or something. Wow, there's just so many. It's blocked off. 
Should we go back? Okay. Okay, guys, so we just walked down the entire length of the tunnel and we were able to see in some of the lateral tunnels, which are the ones that span off of this, and it's very creepy and interesting. And, I mean, just to think here, how many people would have died in this tunnel system? Thousands of people, not only from the Japanese mass suicide, but also the people that were here being treated for wounds in the hospital. This place was a 1,000 bed hospital. And I think we're gonna go up here, find a nice dark quiet spot and try and reach out and see if we can communicate. Alright guys, we are standing in the dark in the middle of the Malinta Tunnel of Gregador Island in the Philippines. It's a very haunted location. I'm going to start calling out. We're going to conduct an EVP session. I'm not going to use my spirit box in here because this place is insanely echoey. I can't even begin to imagine what it would have been like when there was big people bunked up here whilst bombs were dropping on the island. But I'm going to reach out. I'm going to reach out in English. There was a lot of uh, US soldiers that would have died here and may haunt this tunnel, as well as Filipinos and Japanese. But I'm going to reach out in English because that's the language that I speak. Hello, my name is Amy. If there are any spirits in this tunnel that wish to communicate, can you please come forward and make your presence known? Are you able to make a noise or come close and tell us your name? We here during the war. Were you here because you were injured? Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us your age or anything about yourself? There's definitely noises coming from the end of the tunnel. It could be... I mean, there's big steel doors blocking either end of the tunnel entry, so wind or the metal flexing with dropping or rising temperature. Can you make a noise for us? Can you tap on something?
What country are you from? to be the door flexing. Were you in this tunnel when the bombs were dropping on the island? What year was it when you were here? someone down there making that noise because we're here alone and we would see like their feet through the bottom of the light coming under the door if there was someone there. Can you say hello to me? Can you give me any sign that there's someone here? Should we move further up? So we're just walking a bit further up now. We're going to try another experiment up here. Actually, guys, you know what? I've just hit record and we're going to do a ghost tube session in the Melinda Tunnel of the Philippines. Uh, you guys should see overlay come up now on screen. And I'm just going to walk down this way and see if we pick up any words or fluctuations in the magnetic field. Come close to me if there's someone here. Could I have that torch? Come close to me if there's someone here. Gregory, is that your name? What was the name of that headquarters? Is that for a Gregory? Was it? Let's go. The magnetic reader also just jumped. It's much lower here. Gregory, are you around? On the right. Just here? Yeah. 
George. Similarly. And there's only limited names in that dictionary. So like, maybe it picked the closest thing. Is George in there though? Not sure, I don't know. We have to check that. I reckon you'd have, George is a common name. Surely you'd have George. Still. Gregory. Can you come and talk to us or give us a sign? Can you make a noise for us? Is that you, Gregory? Gregory, we would really love to talk and get confirmation that you're in this tunnel with us. If you do want to communicate, can you come close and give us a sign that you're here? If you don't want to, that's fine as well. Gregory, or anyone else here. Could you please tell me where you are from? What country are you from? I just heard something behind you. How old are you? When were you inside this tunnel? What year? So it's been. <gasps> Sorry. Are you good? They go and they went the other way. Okay. So there's been all sorts of paranormal phenomena reported within this tunnel. Anything you can think of, really. We've had uh, voices when no one is around, as well as footsteps. There's been full bodied apparitions, uh, mists forming, people hearing, people cry out um, as if they're trapped. There's been, you know, people have felt as if they've been touched, uh, suddenly dropping temperatures, uh, poltergeist activity. There's been all sorts of things happen in this tunnel. And it is actually a very terrifying place, especially when paired with the real history of how bloody this island is, and in particular, how bloody the past of this tunnel is. We just left the tunnel. No sh it actually just sounded like a missile went off over there. I don't actually know what that sounds like outside of like Hollywood movies. You heard that too, right? Yeah, maybe it was like something like a boat doing something. Well, I can hear a boat now. I don't know what that was. It sounded powerful. You gotta run! <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> what was it? Just a cave. Oh, cool work. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That way I can keep taking you to these scary locations. If you want to do a bit more reading on the Melinda Tunnel or other haunted places I visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also find me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time.